Do you think about what the world's richest entrepreneurs do in terms of habits? What makes them so different and successful from the rest? These people always seem to be so far ahead of humanity, but if you look closely at what they do, you'll almost certainly see consistency in time management. Let me share with you how the world's most successful entrepreneurs use their free time. My name is Munif Ali, and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s, and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars of sales. I started making videos like this to share my life experiences so that I may teach others how to become more successful. If you like the type of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video, and share it with people who might find this helpful. The most successful people don't sleep on the weekends. They don't wake up at 11 or 1 p.m. just because it's the weekend. Nope, they always wake up at the same time because they care about the habits they've built so they can still be productive even during their days off. Also, studies have shown that following your circadian rhythm promotes a better quality of sleep, which helps people be more productive and more consistent with their work. I routinely wake up at the same time every single day, seven days a week, and it doesn't matter if I'm on vacation or days off or if I'm on a trip, I do the same things consistently. You could ask me what I'm gonna be doing on a Saturday morning at 5.30 in the morning, five years from now. And luckily, if I'm around, I'm gonna be doing the same things. Five years past, I was doing the same exact thing at 5.30 because I know what my morning ritual is. That way, I consistently get the same amount of sleep, even if it's weekends, days off, or on vacation, I consistently know what my habits are gonna be way ahead of schedule. But if you change your sleeping habits, let's say just because it's the weekend, you'll end up either oversleeping or undersleeping, wasting time and opportunities that make your body just confused, which affects your performance heavily during the week. Here are some highly successful people who have strictly followed their wake up schedule. Steve Jobs used to wake up at 6 a.m. sharp every day. Tim Cook wakes up at 3.45 a.m. Oprah wakes up at 7.10 a.m. And by the time the clock strikes 8 a.m., she's ready for work. So by maintaining a steady wake up time, these people have always been in routine, which helps them be ready for work at all times. Most people think that after college, they've learned everything there is to know, and that's just the beginning. Most of the things that you need to learn will come through experience from acquiring knowledge from other great people or their books. For example, Bill Gates, where he just locks himself in a small cabin in the woods and reads books and learn. There are plenty of ways to learn. You can listen to my podcast, take our courses, or talk to people that you really admire. Having a mentor is important for growth for someone who wants to succeed. And by following the tips and rules for those who have already succeeded before, you'll have a better chance in succeeding as well or doing it even better. If you wanna live a life of success, you need to take some time to take care of your health. It's critical and it's important. The studies have shown that psychological health correlates with physiological health. That means that you will be more effective at work. Some of the most successful people admit that they follow a strict exercise regimen, just like Richard Branson or Mark Zuckerberg. Richard does a variety of sports like tennis and biking and surfing, while Mark makes sure that he at least works out three times a week. Your dedication to exercise should be the same level of priority as your business. Because when you exercise, you gain energy. And when you have more energy, the more you'll be able to work and create and execute. Famous multimillionaires give their all during their weekdays. If you want to become a millionaire, it doesn't mean that that's the only thing you think about every night and day. It's important that you recharge yourself and surround yourself with people who you care about the most. Gary V, for example, we know Gary V because he's all over social media. He works tremendously during the weekdays, but on the weekends, he maximizes his time with his kids and his family. Remember, we human beings work to live, not live to work. You're always gonna be a little warped or one-sided, but remember, try to maintain balance the best you can. Because if you're only focused on one thing, you won't be as effective in your work since you spend all your energy and time with work. Even if you have a demanding schedule, take some time for yourself and your loved ones to increase your quality of life, which will result in a better quality of work. I'm going to be starting a podcast, and if you wanna learn more about personal finances to live a life of financial freedom, this show is for you. I'm gonna give you unfiltered personal opinion on the latest trends and 
the standard hallmarks like stocks and real estate and all the shiny new objects like crypto and NFTs and beyond. And once again, if you like this type of content, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button and let the algorithm and myself know that this content is worthy. And I'll continue to bring you more content like this each and every week. So make sure you turn on the notification bell as well so that you are informed the next time I come out with a new video. Aside from having time for the people that you love, it's also important to do other things that you like to do and love. When you give yourself other things to do, you're giving yourself some headspace, which improves your ability to think overall. And when you do, you get more time to prepare your mind in making important decisions at work. For example, I like to do a little bit of gardening. I like to do a little bit of yard work, and it gives me that variety to put my mind into something else for a change. And I always find after that session of work, my mind is always ready to create and do more things. Also, having a wider variety of skills or hobbies means that you have more opportunities to try things. Elon Musk, for example, drops random music here and there. It's probably just for memes, but he enjoys it and his followers are more engaged because of it. By doing something like a fun hobby, Elon was able to gain more followers, increase his influence, as well as the wealth of his businesses. What these billionaires and millionaires aren't doing is something complicated. There are things that you can simply follow, but consistency and dedication is needed to reach their kind of success. So if you wanna become successful like these people, try to follow some of their regimens and routines. Live a balanced life as much as you can, but when it's time to work, always give 100%. Thank you for watching, and please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you have enjoyed this video. And if you wanna learn more about successful people, watch this video on reasons why you're not rich yet. Millionaire tips from a multimillionaire.